It's Kalamazoo Beer Week. Laura Bell is with us from Bell's Brewing Company. I have to, you know, I, we're sitting in the Eccentric Cafe, and I remember I was flashing back to that moment when I first walked in here because, you, you know, and I, I'm sure you hear this before, you were kind of the gateway for me. It was Amber Ale's first good, it was the first quote-unquote good beer I've ever <laughs> drank. Um, and I walked into the, the Eccentric Cafe, and you look around now, and you can't even recognize it. I mean, it was tiny, it was small, it was, you know, bustling with people. Now it's big and it's bustling with people. Just a huge change, Laura. It's been, you know, it's, it is a huge change, um, and it's been really exciting. Um, you know, change isn't always bad. It's been really great to um, take a look at what this space is needed and put in that well-deserved uh, time and attention to really bring it to life in the way that I think it's always um you know, always, they always wanted to be. I remember when I was a little kid and we yeah. were sitting on, a, you know, stools with tables that were on barrels. And, you know, it's <laughs> certainly come a long way from that. And it's been really fun to watch the change over the years. And now to be able to, um, you know, up, up the service, up the food. We have a real kitchen now, which is That's a huge crazy. thing. I know. Um, so it's, just been, it's been a really exciting year down here. You've kind of grown, I mean, you've grown up with this. This is, you know, this is... This is home, man. I know, it's, I believe it. I was born two months before the brewery started, so, I mean, Saturdays were spent around here. the brewery, and yeah, yeah it, again, it's funny, like, I'm in here, and sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, it looks so much different than when it did, and... Um, but it still feels like home, you know? Yeah, I bet. I said, I can remember when the stage was, you know, the small little area right <laughs> in the front, and, you were, you know, the back area was the brewing area. I mean, it's it's gone from that to national, and, you yeah. know, so amazing, um, the growth and the opportunity, and what it's done for Kalamazoo on top Thank of that, you. too. Yeah. Um, you know, the, we talk about Kalamazoo Beer Week without her dad and without Larry and without Bells. I don't know if that happens. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, certainly... You know, we, I like to think that, you know, Michigan has a, a great spirit of entrepreneurship and, you know, I, I feel very fortunate that my dad happened to be that yeah. really, you know, first um, big craft brewing success story. Um, but I do like to think that we would have gotten here, you know, anyways, right. because uh, Michigan has such a passion for craft beer. They have such an excitement and it's been really, um, it's really fun to watch that all come together, particularly with something like Kalamazoo Beer Week, because... I mean, there's hundreds of events going on downtown around the whole area um, with breweries from all over the country. So it's pretty cool in our little town. Oh, I you know. know. It's, it really is amazing. And, you know, what people don't realize is, I mean, you know, Bell's was one of the first, one of the first, you know, I believe it's east of the, east of the Mississippi craft breweries and nobody even knew what it was I mean nobody even understood I mean it's hard to believe nobody understood the concept at the time right but nobody understood the concept at the time amber ale was a dark beer right it was scary it was you know a little bit tougher to, to conceptualize and now amber you know as, as now I'm sitting, sitting here, here drinking hops like, I know. I know like amber is such a such a um, you know classic right classic staple so Tell us a little bit about, you know, you did the 30th anniversary of the Funvitation this year. The expansion with the restaurant this year, this has to be, you know, for, for, for everything going on, this has to be incredibly exciting. It's amazing. You know, I think one of the, um, I, I'm trying to think about how to wrap it all up into a couple of sentences because it's really been um, exciting and overwhelming and in, in a positive way with the growth down here, um, being 30 years old, and then the construction that we're doing out in Comstock as well has been, um, you know, a new bottling hall, so new logistics space so we can actually like package and ship beer in a canning I mean that canning, came, came up we this put year our too. canning line in yeah, yeah so you know it's um, we always say like oh you know when things slow down when things go back to normal and I think over the years we've realized that change is constant and we learn to operate in that way and so it's I think the biggest thing for us is stopping to appreciate all of the cool things that have happened this year, appreciate all the hard work that our employees have put in, um, and then get excited about what we get to do next, you know, yeah, build on that. I bet. Well, I said, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing staff, um, you know, and I'm sure that has grown from the early days of one, two, five, yeah. to what you're looking at now. We're just shy of seven or uh, 470 employees, I believe, and by the end of this year, we'll be over 500. Oh, my God. How many states? So we're in 24 states right now, um, and then we're looking to expand um, this year to a couple new ones. The ones I can tell you about are Louisiana, Arkansas, and Mississippi. So those should happen in the first couple months of the year, and whole new, whole new world, you know, down there. And you, and I said, and it's bottles and cans, all those places, and, and it's yeah, bottles, okay. cans, and draft, and okay. um, we'll have some employees that live down there as well, so they can spread the good, good word of bells in the south. 
Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's a great growth opportunity, yeah. to say the least. All right, we were talking a little bit about Hop Slam. Um, you know, that has turned into an event. Oberon, of course, turns into an event. I mean, you release beers, it's an event. It's crazy. It's cr- You know what? It's funny. I got a call from a large national news source a couple years ago, um, and they asked me, they're like, what did you do to make Hop Slam, Hop Slam, the, the excitement around it? And I was, and I said, to be honest with you, like we made a beer, and we are incredibly fortunate that people have um, become so passionate about it and so excited about it. It's almost that is overwhelming. Like the emails start flowing in a couple months before we release, and it's like, when is it coming? When is it coming? And we're like, <laughs> just hold your horses, it'll be there. But um, yeah, it's. It's totally, the excitement has totally been born by or, or developed by the customers that drink it. I don't run any ads. We don't do, right. you know, we don't do any promotion. All organic. Like beforehand. And so it's been very organic. And then we decided to have parties to support that excitement. So it just goes hand in hand. Is it hard? Is it hard now to balance business and beer? I mean, did they go hand in hand or is it, I mean, do you always want to, you know, hey, look, it's still, you know, in the end, it's still, you know, that art. I think that that's something we like to remind ourselves about. That um, at the end of the day, we make a we make beer, you know. And sometimes on particularly challenging days at the brewery, I have to remember. I go down to the pub and I have a little beer, and I think this is this is what we make, and it's good, you know. And then I think about our staff, and I'm like, okay, the business side of things sometimes is challenging as you're growing and changing and figuring out who you um, who you are and where you want to go and. It's great that we make beer. I always say, like, I'm really, really thankful that my dad started a brewery instead of something less exciting. Dentist office, I mean. I always say windshield wiper manufacturer, (laughs) but I don't want to offend any windshield wiper manufacturers. I think that our conferences and parties might be a little more fun, although I don't know that for sure. So, So. you know, how many many people, I mean, within the brewing, you know, again, you're talking about some, some... some beers that have come out over the even over the last couple of years, yeah. I mean, with, with Smitten and Hop Slime and so, several others. You know, is it still a collaborative atmosphere there? As talking, yeah, as totally. far as the, as far as the you know as far as the creative process of all that. Absolutely. You know, there's we have amazing, amazing people that work for us from um, that creative standpoint, from a technical standpoint, from um, being able to critically evaluate beer, from you know a recipe standpoint, from a flavor standpoint, and so. I think the best part about this, you know, this little glass of hop slam that we're drinking, yeah. if you think about how many people touch this little glass of beer, it's <laughs> insane. I'll bet. And so, you know, people think that, oh, you're a brewer. And yeah, our brewers are great. And if you can't brew it right, you know, you don't have a beer. But if you can't do fermentation correctly, you don't have a beer. If you can't package it correctly. So everything is intertwined. Everything to get to this beer we're drinking has to be a collaboration. It has to be a conversation. So it's, um, it's something that we... You know, we worked on really hard to get to that point and then to continue to build on those conversations and how can we improve, how can we build upon things that we're already doing. Do you, uh, I said, I, I remember reading, and I haven't been there yet, Escanaba, mm-hmm. which is a whole other complex mm-hmm. that, that came up about this year too. Yeah. Um, not that doesn't come that, that doesn't come that doesn't come south of the bridge, correct? It doesn't. It, no, what's the upper hand? Upper hand. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. So my um, the Bell family has been going to the UP for a hundred years. Right. And Larry, my dad, um, you know, has a, a very strong tie there. He has a house up there, and has always dreamed of having a little brewery and uh, and. The UP, and so he'd been looking for a number of years for a site, and the opportunity came up in Delta County in Escanaba, right. and uh, he was like, "Let's do it." So, again, a collaborative effort. You know, we we um, found the site, got the drawings, built it, and so they run the production side up there, and then we handle um, a lot of the marketing and the admin stuff down here. So right. there has there's constant communication, and it's really fun to go visit them. They oh, make delicious beer. It's great. It's really good. It's just another one of the amazing... <laughs> Somebody is like, yep, absolutely yep, it's they do. Good. That's really funny. All right, so then we've got Kalamazoo Beer Week yep. coming up. It, event after event after event. I oh looked boy. at the list. It's like, I mean, is there is there a couple of highlights? Is there a couple of things? Well, um, Kalamazoo Beer Week Snow Jog Leisure Race and Challenge hosted here at Bells is probably my favorite event that we do okay. um, every year. It's our fourth annual. Um, it is sold out, so um, next year... If As you're it inter- always does, yeah. Next year, if you're interested, you got to be on it soon. Um, um, you know, we've got 400 runners that meet here at Bell's at the Eccentric Cafe, and then we have 11 participating locations downtown here. So 
um, bars and then Gazelle Sports and Pedal Bicycles are also nice. um, participating this year. So you run around downtown and you do funny games at each place. Maybe you have a little beer and uh, you know you get back and you win a prize. And it's people dress up and it's just good fun. So I think that's a highlight. Um, and if you can't participate, going to any of the participating locations will still be a blast to watch people uh, embarrass themselves doing oh, fun games. That's good. I like that. So that's a good one. Um, we're also doing the uh, Beer Olympics throughout town. All right. So um, at a number of our um, bars down here, we're doing games. Okay. Um, so I believe I'm playing Mario Kart. On Shakespeare's on Wednesday night, that so you can like come. It's, they're called Beat the Brewer Games. Okay. So you you um, compete against our staff to win. You're prizes. good at Mario Kart. I don't know. We'll I guess see. We're gonna find we're out. We're gonna out, find we? out. <laughs> so that'll be fun. And we've got a spelling bee here on Monday night. And then I think the other highlight event that I would say is a not to miss is um, our Hop Slam release party here at the Eccentric Cafe on Wednesday. It's called Jort Slam. Jort Slam. So you know what? Do you know what jorts are? No. They're jean shorts. Oh, they nice. They can either be cut off or pre-manufactured jean shorts. Right. So, it's wear your jean shorts, sing live band karaoke, drink hop slam. Um, and this year we actually have an award. It's called the Jortiest Jorts of Jort Slam. <laughs> <laughs> so whoever has the best jean shorts uh, gets to gets to win. Um, so that should be pretty fun. I mean, it's all about having a good time. It's. Uh, you know, beer week, we take our beer seriously, we take making it seriously, and it's also a lot of fun, so we try to integrate that fun atmosphere with beer week, so it's not, um, it's not so serious, you know, we just have a good time. Laura Bell, thank you much, I appreciate